In this video I will show you another Windows 11 Start menu replacement called Wally Start. And before doing anything further, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, VIPKeysale.com. From VIP Key Sale, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows and Office keys and also Steam, Origin, Uplay Game keys and many more in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code TE20 to get extra 20% discount. As you can see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Pro OEM Global Key for $14.35, which is insanely cheap. And with all that being said, check the links in the description down below. So to use this Windows 11 start menu replacement you will need Rainmeter installed on your system and on GitHub you will go to enhanced Jack's GitHub repository and you will download Jack's core Rainmeter skin. Simply click on RM skin file and go to the downloads folder and click on the RM skin installer. Click install. So this is Jack's core skin for Rainmeter, click nice, click maybe later, click continue and click finish. And here you have Jack's Originals or Jack's Core Skin for Rainmeter. Then you will go under the Skins tab and here you will click on Wally Start. And this is Windows 11 Start Menu replacement that we are going to talk about today. So here you will click here to for Express Installation. So simply click on this green button right here. And right now you should see that you have Jack Score 3 and Wally Start installed on your system and simply click continue. Then click on the Wally Start once again on Jack Score applications and on the bottom left you will click activate the skin. And here you will also be prompted with Windows Security Alert and you will click allow access. So when you open Wally Start applications, uh, here you will see the general tab and under hotkeys you have the option to override the start menu uses Windows key as hotkey. So if I click the Windows key right now, you will see that we have Wally Start uh, running right here. But if you want to, you can disable this feature as well and simply go to the activation hotkey and let's type, let's say for example, J and click confirm and you will start this application with the J button once and for all. But I really like it on the Windows Start menu key. So I will just simply enable this feature. One thing is that type to search when menu is active. So if I click a Windows key and start searching for something, you will see that we have this option as well. Then another thing is time and weather. We have time format. We can simply select a 12 hour or 24 hour. We can either show seconds. For example, if I enable this feature and as you can see, we have on the top right, we have the seconds as well. And then the weather location, you can simply select your weather location and also units or which is metric and imperial. Then we also have some configuration options. We have pinned shortcuts directory. So here we have our shortcuts for our start replacement. So simply if I click once again start menu on the windows and click on this plus button right here, you will see we have this same window here. And if I add some, uh, let's say some shortcuts to that uh, window. So if I go to the start apps right here, I will select let's say Microsoft Edge. I will go to the more and I will go open the file location and then I will put this uh, Microsoft Edge to this folder right here and then also Rainmeter I will put it right here as well and if I close this uh, file explorer window once again and if I go to the start menu replacement and here we have these options right here. So if I put refresh right click on it and refresh as you can see we have here Microsoft Edge and Rainmeter shortcuts. Uh, shortcut right here on this start menu replacement. Here we also have orb image. For example, this is the image on the top left right here on the top left, which says welcome back. And here is one image that you can actually change. So simply if you want to click on this one and let's say we have the Windows 11 logo right here, I will select this one. And as you can see, it successfully changed our orb image on the top left. And another thing is that if you go to the start text, you have welcome back. You can simply customize these text as well. So welcome back here on the top left. You can simply change this one as well. 
So here you have start sound, close sound and remove sound so you can either select these options as well. If we go to the under appearance tab, here you have a lot more options to customize your brand new Windows 11 start menu replacement. For example, you have font faves, so simply you can select your preferred uh, font option, skin scale so you can either uh, enlarge it or even put your brand new start menu replacement to even smaller, icon scale, you can scale your icons and also corner roundness, for example if I set it to the 30, you will see that we have our start menu even more rounded as well. So right now it should look like that. And another thing is that you can also disable or uh, enable animation, so slide animations, so when it comes from the top like that, and you can also disable this feature as well. Then another thing is that if you want, you can simply change the location of these start menu. So on the bottom, on the center, on, on or the corner, you can simply change this feature as well. And you can also enable draw strokes. So if I enable this feature, you will see that we have these strokes or these separations lines right here on the start menu. And I think it looks quite nice. So here we have also media options, so to retrieve and display song thumbnails. So when you are playing the song, let's say from Spotify, you will also see a song thumbnail on your brand new start replacement. Then we also have colors and fillings, but these are the color options that you want to change. But I will also go through more of these settings under the color scheme. So if I go to the under the color scheme, you will see that we have uh, some other options here as well. But I really like this blur option. So if I click on this one, you will see that we have the blurred, the blurred uh, brand new start menu replacement. And I think this option looks the best in my opinion. Let me show once uh, again, uh, let's say the light version. But I really like the blur version as well. So media options, as I said earlier, you can simply see the song uh, thumbnail that you are playing on this start menu replacement as well from all of these media apps. And another thing is under the modules, simply you can pick whichever module configuration you would like. So on the bottom, this is the none. Here you have monitor configuration. And if I click on, let's say this uh, RAM, CPU and GPU management or how many resources are being used. If I click simply on that one, you will see that we have RAM, CPU and GPU information right here. And previous was set on the uh, weather information as well. So. I think this has been all for this video, simply if you haven't already guys, subscribe to the channel and like this video would be much appreciated. And with all that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.